By all outward appearances, Jeffrey Dahmer seemed like a normal boy growing up. So how did he become a serial killer? The search for the root causes went all the way back to his mother's pregnancy. Both of Dahmer's parents said it had not been an easy time, but during separate interviews with each of them, that was about all they agreed on. At times, her legs would lock tightly in place, and her whole body would grow rigid and begin to tremble. During these strange seizures, her eyes would bulge like a frightened animal, and she would begin to salivate, literally frothing at the mouth. We'd have to call the doctor who, in those days, they still made house calls, and he came immediately, and, and it always ended up that he gave her a shot of, of some type of relaxant. What kind of drugs was she on? There, there were a, a mixture of things. He would, he would have to come and inject um, secanol or morphine if, in some instances, when, when, it, when her body would not relax. The doctor? Yeah, the doctor. Morphine, barbiturates? Yeah, mm -hmm. relaxants. Mm -hmm. Phenobarbital? Yes. Uh -huh. She was on a pretty heavy yeah, drug regimen. Yeah, she was regimen. on a, quite a heavy diet of uh, prescription drugs, right. What do you remember about the pregnancy? I had um, uh, what I thought were probably the ordinary kinds of things that happen when you're pregnant and... Morning sickness. Morning sickness. A lot of nausea. Yes. Lionel describes a, a, a strange undiagnosed problem. He describes it as some kind of a seizure that you developed uh, a proneness to seizures late in the pregnancy where you had, he describes it as a kind of rigidness for which you were prescribed medications. Do you, do you remember that and can you describe that, it? I don't remember that at all. I don't, I can't imagine where that comes from. It isn't true. I don't, <laughs> um, you don't recall any, anything like that? No. Seizures or? No. seizure-like episodes? Absolutely not. Were you prescribed medications, including morphine, barbiturates? Oh, I don't know what medications were prescribed, and I'm surprised that anyone says that there is something um, that lists every single medication I took 33 years ago um, I, I had a doctor, a physician. I took the medicine that was prescribed for me, and for the most part, I was healthy. You weren't on morphine. I, you know, I don't think you give pregnant women morphine. I, I, you know, I'd have to ask my doctor, but they don't give pregnant women morphine. Barbiturates of any kind, in order to calm you down in these, these seizure states as Lionel there describes were no, them? There were no seizure states. Where's I don't know where from? that's coming from. Well, stone, I don't know. And it's one of the reasons why I'm finally speaking out because um, there were no seizures. There was nothing um, that was out of the ordinary as far as my pregnancy was concerned, except that I needed to be in bed. There's an obvious discrepancy here between what you're saying and what Lionel is saying about the, about the nature of the pregnancy. It was difficult, you both agree, but, but he describes you in these states where you were, as he says, literally frothing at the mouth. In Are you serious? Rigid, in these rigid states, yeah, for which you were given medication to, to settle or calm you down. Well, I don't know what his purpose is in doing that. I do know that when this first happened, the very first thing that the husband that I divorced did was come out with these accusations against me. They're not true. Well, I don't know how I can prove it to you that they're not true. Is it uh, possible you just don't remember them? George? No, it's not possible I don't remember them. It was my first pregnancy. I remember everything about my first pregnancy. There's a an important point you want to talk about that you that you really want to make and, and is the reason why you've come on so let's talk about that thank you I appreciate that very much stone because I'm really feeling like uh, the questions that I've been asked so far 
are exactly the reason why I wanted to come on, exactly the reason why I want to write a book tentatively titled An Assault on Motherhood, and that's exactly how I feel, like I'm being assaulted by, by uh, statements that can't be substantiated, that uh, that people have said are not so, but here I am once, one more time having to defend myself. I want to get across that we as women just can't take this kind of thing anymore. If something bad happens to our son or our child, there has to be a place for us to go. I want a place for... Um, all the victims, all the victims to have a place where there's some compassion and understanding instead of a, um, a blame, a, a, a blaming. Coming up, Joyce talks about the pain of feeling blamed for her son's crimes and disputes more of her ex-husband's recollections. Excuse me for interrupting you, but I never heard anything like that that ever happened. 